have no, and then the next day it's something different. And the next day it's something different. And it's because of what was going on with me internally. And of course, I didn't understand disassociative identity disorder and I didn't understand trauma. I didn't understand switches or alters or any of those things. But in my life, like it was so hard for me to be honest with, with anyone because I didn't really know what was true for me because it always changed. I didn't what, know why or when that didn't was know why. And then didn't know why it changed. And it wasn't know. always like day to day. Sometimes it could be hour to hour. Sometimes it could be no. for three months at a time. Well, I would be on a good streak of like three months sometimes and be like, all right, I'm faithful and committed. And like, I'm into this. I can be a family man. I can be all these things. And then something would change. And then all of a sudden I couldn't be. And it was like a completely different person was there. Again, now I understand these things. And that's hard. But Hell yeah, it is. It's, it's hard in the face of religion. It's hard in the face of family. It's hard in the face of friends because everybody wants to put you in a box. And I just stepped on every possible box that tries to get on top of me. And I'm like, here it is. Yeah. You know, and it's not perfect, but it's not going to be. But something about just embracing that part of life is okay. I believed our creator created us. One, for truth being a very important thing, because truth leads us to who we really are and who we were created to be. And you can't live your purpose unless if you know your identity. Mm -hmm. So one of the most beautiful things I believe is if we just walk out what we believe to be true for ourselves, we have a creator that will let us walk long enough in what we believe to be true, only to slap us upside the head and go, uh -uh, that's not what I want for you. I want something else. So. We get little afflictions or we get, have little things happen to alter our path, to get us back on the right path. Mm. That's a beautiful thing. I don't need religion. I don't need books. I don't need any of that to figure that part out. And so I don't, while how I turned my life around was a supernatural experience in jail and facing five years, ultimately for me, it's been the truth that has kept me free. Even the truth about my sin the truth about my failures, my truth about my dysfunctions, it's all led me to the path that has led to my purpose and has led to my blessings and has led to all that really is meant for me. And that's a really beautiful thing. I wish, I wish more people knew how powerful truth is because you wouldn't give a shit about what other people thought. You wouldn't care what books said. You wouldn't care what your teacher said. You would quit caring about what mommy and daddy said. And I know mommy and daddy are important and I love my mom and my bonus dad, loved them. But they don't know always what's best for me.